In honor of Skip Cube, I'm going to do a review of Krispy Kreme and Moneymaker Mike. They have a video that says, Haters Want to Be Me. And I will go, first of all, in the observation that you're saying that your haters are always behind you. Now, if we go by the principle of you are what you eat and you're standing there saying you are Krispy Kreme, then most likely your haters are not behind you. They're really actually in front of you because you're not really able to keep up because you are on a diet of Krispy Kreme. Just an observation, but I was just going with this. All right. Uh, in the video, now obviously you know I well, for those who don't know, I'm not big into rap, but I'll go ahead and review this video because of the things that are in it. Okay, so uh, I'm not really reviewing the rap so much, but the, the actual stuff that's in it. Um, I see you sitting on a tree branch. Hopefully you checked the tree branch to see if it was sturdy enough to hold your weight, because otherwise, tree branch snaps and there you go. Anyway, uh, I also saw you jumping over a weight bench. That weight bench is full of solid metal. If you jump in just the wrong way, you could end up getting yourself seriously hurt. But that's, you know, hopefully you kind of trained yourself on that and tried not to get yourself hurt. Anyway, um, I would like to know more about the trophies. Uh, where did you get them? How, what kind of sports you participated in to get them? So on and so forth. I'd love to know all about the trophies. So... Tell me about him. Okay, now I also saw you standing on a swing. Hopefully that swing and its ropes are attached to a solid metal bar apparatus. Because if not, and you have it attached to a tree branch that's not exactly stable, then they, either the ropes will break or the tree branch will break, and you're going to be still on the ground. Just an observation there. You say your haters can't see you. Well, either they are incredibly blind or you're wearing camouflage all the time. Which is it? And then, you mentioned being swallowed up by an anaconda snake. Now, if I was being swallowed up by an anaconda snake, the first thing I would be worried about is how I was going to breathe. So, just, just a thought there, you know, like, okay, how am I going to breathe, much less kill this dang thing that just now swallowed me? Just some thinking there. But anyway, I decided to go ahead and do this, and hopefully I'll get a response from Skip Cube. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.